Today on Three Minutes, medal expert John Southern tells us about his tailor-made military career. When I joined the army at the tender age of 14, two days off my 15th birthday, uh, I joined as a boy soldier and I had actually uh, intended to follow in my father's footsteps and become a military chef. Uh, but somewhere along the line, that got lost uh, and I ended up tailoring. The way I'm sitting now, cross-legged on a bench, is, tr is a traditional stance for tailors to sew. And in fact, when you first start to do tailoring uh, and training, you put a sleeve board, uh, a wooden board, across your knees in this position, and the old cold irons on there to keep your knees down. Of course, it comes very naturally after a few years. And the reason for sitting like this is because it's so much easier to rest the clothing all the way to the clothing on the knees and it's the shortest distance from the knees to the eyes to be able to see what you're saying. There are many, many things that one needs to know about medals. Uh, the order they go in, uh, the colours of the ribbon, the, to see that the ribbons are round the right way, uh, the different styles of mounting, But the whole of uh, someone's life uh, is depicted there within that set of medals. One can see what period of time in history he joined, where he served, perhaps during the Second World War, Africa, Italy, through France and Germany for the liberation, uh, and perhaps a long service and a conduct medal on the end because he did 22 years, had a whole lifetime in the army. It's a whole story within a set of medals. I spend every day mounting people's medals, and I love medals. And I did 25 years in the Grand Air Guards and ended up with one, just the Long Service and Good Conduct Medal. But uh, I live ever in hope of uh, perhaps being awarded an MBE or something for services rendered. If you have an interesting job or hobby that you're passionate about, write to us at 3 Minutes, PO Box 330, Southampton, SO14, OHL.